deleted almost everything on my iPad because you know this thing is dead. Okay, so I'm gonna do like a weird story time video about this dead thing that won't turn on anymore. Um But I wasn't the one that broke it, I swear. So what had happened was my phone besides this area, this thing all around it. I wish you can like I wish I can turn it on, but I won't turn it on. But let's just stir it all the way back. I believe in June or something. Alright, so <clears throat> I got a new phone and I'm like, I hate this phone case. And I'm like, ooh, 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 ooh. And so I'm like, I want a new phone case. And so we went to Tiffany Marketplace to get some stuff, and I got a brand new phone case that looks like this bad boy. I got this phone case, it says, I just don't give a hug, you know what I'm saying? Nice pun. So I got that phone case, and my friend, not going to say names, she thought the corner of my phone was a screen protector. So she peeled off my screen, and I'm like, bro, bro. And so I didn't like the phone case I had before. So I decided to buy this one from Claire's. And the day I got it, I dropped my phone and it made a giant crack. And it also loosened up my phone screen thingy. I don't know. And so I was like, oh, this is not good because my screen is like peeling off. And so I was like, okay, oh well. And then school came around and I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna take my phone because we're allowed to. And so, I took my phone to school, and because there's always, there was a big gash here, so every single day, anytime I put something in my backpack, it would like keep chipping. And then towards, I think, sep September, or I don't know, months, or like something like that. So yeah, I think towards September towards september english in october and basically towards that month i was like what if i just go to walmart or something and buy a new screen <laughs> love that bad choice for me don't go to walmart so anyways i was like hey i saw this thing at walmart it was probably about like seven probably like fifty dollars to get a new screen protector and i was like whoa and so I took it to Walmart, I got a new screen, and apparently the little, um, what you call it, nails in the phone were like unscrewed. So uh, she, the person that peeled off, my, peeled off my screen, um, unscrewed the screws in my phone. And so I'm like, uh oh, oh, those fixed. Anyways, for like until October, my phone was okay. Until I, like, I don't know what happened. No, it was towards November. Yeah, November. Anyways, so towards November, I kept dropping my phone, but it was okay. But this appeared, this little spider web appeared out of nowhere. I don't know how that's possible. But anyways, yeah. And like slowly, you can see these like chips and stuff. And that's because of my backpack, because I kept bringing my uh, phone to school. And so it like it <laughs> died. So after that happened, no November, like Christmas came around the corner. <laughs> and so I'm like, whoa, this is super epic. I'm praying to God that I get a new phone case because, you know, this phone case is like bad, bad, bad news, okay? Bad, bad news. And I'm like, whoa! And then I got this beautiful phone case. Okay, come back. So this is the phone case, and right here there used to be like a little lanyard thingy so you can put it over your neck so you wouldn't drop your phone or something. And so I was, I used to wear my phone around like, yay, 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 yay. Oh, wait, what was that? Let's take off the phone case. Anyways, so I was wearing it in class, and this kid, let's call him Mr. Doggo, because, yeah. Anyways, Mr. Doggo. Um, said, oh, she had her phone, and then this quote, um, that's what the same name. So my seventh, my seventh teacher, let's call her Miss Reading, because she's kind of an ELA teacher. So anyway, so Miss Reading saw, like, 
my phone. And she'd say, is your phone on? And then I'd say, yeah. And she'd say, get your phone. And she like, she's like, come here. And then I got a write up. Not like, I don't know anymore. I'm like really drunk off of caffeine. <sighs> Anyways, so I told her that my phone was on, but I wasn't using it and it was on silent. And she's like, still, you're not supposed to wear your phone. Did you not give that announcement? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, here, give me your phone. But she's like, no, I don't want to take your phone because I already have a phone. And then she made me put this in like this little cubby. My phone in a little cubby. It was like filled with pencils and stuff. So that was not good for my phone. Anyways, so she's like, okay. And I was like really mad because one, we were taking a test and I wasn't doing anything. It was like, um, it was not a test test. It wasn't for the like grade or anything. It was more for like a, um, what you call it? It was more like a get ready for the finals type of test. You know, the type of test where you like pre do it and it's, it's just, I don't know. Anyways, that happened. Uh, pff, later on. Yeah, that just happened, and then it was the next week later or something. I, I, I don't know anymore. Sorry. She told my fifth period teacher, he's actually a really cool guy. Um, he's my STEM teacher, and I like, and so my um, STEM teacher is like, are you wearing your phone? And I'm like, no, it's in my lunchbox, because then I started putting it in my lunchbox. Because one, I didn't trust my um, backpack because of what happened to my phone. And so I'm like... No, it's in a lunchbox. And he's like, good. Just don't bring it out unless you want to ask me. And I'm like, okay. So, I forgot a part in the video that was really strange. But, um, so, that was, so, it was the end of the day. And I had to go to this chess club with my other friend. And I was telling everybody. And apparently, Mrs. Reading Teacher heard me or something. And, like, around... I would say 240 because we get out of 220 or something. It was like kind of the beginning, but also like it was like the middle of class or something. Um, Miss Reading Teacher was like, Can I talk to Madison? And then the teacher that was running the chess club um, walked over to me and she's like, We have someone to talk. Um, you want. Uh, and I'm like, okay. And so I walk out and I just see her just smiling. She's like, and I'm like, oh, hi. And she's like, hi. So I heard that you were saying I took away your phone for no reason. And I'm like, kind of. And then the chess club leader was like, well, I think she's just kind of yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. blah. And she's like, uh -huh. yeah. and I'm like, whoa, I'm like shaky, shaky, shaky. I'm not shaky anymore. But I... And then um, the reading teacher, she's like, well, you shouldn't be going around telling everybody this. And I'm like, oh, well, okay, wink, wink, wink. I'm telling everybody now still. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still mad at her for f to have the audacity to find me and tell me this. To be honest with me, to be honest with you, I legit didn't care what she was saying because the phone thing was just so over the top and just so not good. And the fact that she somehow found me scares me a lot because how would she know where I was? Maybe she has that super hearing and she can actually hear me right now. I don't know, but that's what happened that day. Okay, um, bye. And then on Wednesday, she told my first period, Mr. was called Mr. Nozum. <laughs> and so she told Mr. Nozum, my math teacher, about what had happened. And he, so I was about to go into class and he walks up to me, he's like, are you wearing your phone? And I'm like, no, it's in my lunchbox. And, and I was like, and he's like, well, well, I don't want you to wear your phone because your seven, pe uh, your seven, te your seven period teacher told me about how you were wearing your phone and stuff. Have you not heard all the announcements about you putting your, your phone in your backpack and stuff? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, eh. But 
the thing is, is that Mich my band teacher and my science teacher doesn't care. So I was like, no one else cares besides my, my uh, seventh period teacher. And so I'm like, Haha, that's why I did it because no one really cared. Anyways, yeah. And then on Wednesday, <laughs> everything was okay. Thursday, that's this is fun. Delicious. Anyways, so I had my phone in my lunchbox, and this kid, he took my lunchbox. But this other kid, let's call him the phone guy, because he's obsessed with my like phones, not my phone, but like he's obsessed with phones. He's like thirty phones. But anyways, so he used to take my lunchbox, and I have yogurt in my lunchbox. And my phone's already cracked, so that's beautiful. And so he used to kick my lunchbox, and this time he kicked my lunchbox. The yogurt got into my phone and messed up the LD, the LS, the LS, LDS, LSD, I don't know actually. Called LSE. Uh <laughs> LSC, that's what it's called. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm like, uh oh. By the way, quick note my phone survived a puddle of water. So I don't know why yogurt's ruining my phone when my phone was covered in water. So yeah, I, I felt like you should know that because my phone's super stupid and I. And I. And so I'm like, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Hmm. And so I was like, I thought of nothing. And this kid, Mr. Let's call him Mr. N, okay? Because I'm not gonna say his real name. Anyways, Mr. N, he stole my lunchbox. He was hiding it as a joke or anything. And I was like, Haha, you stole my lunchbox, I'm gonna steal it back. And the thing is, is that we were having a substitute, and there's a group of people at our table, so Mr. Phone Guy had to go to the other table. So he was kind of clean. Because he had to go to the other table, and that was at the beginning of class, and he also kicked my lunchbox in the beginning of class. If that makes sense. Probably not, but still, just try to, just try to like, copy you hand up. Help me, I'm like legit dying right now, so like, oh no, I need more tea. BRB, I'm back. I forgot what I was saying. Everyone I left. Nish, N boy, N boy, Mr. N boy, he took my lunchbox because he was just walking into class. Anyway, so he saw my lunchbox and I was like, whoa, where's my lunchbox? Because my phone's in there. And so I snatched it because it was at his table and I'm like, ha, ha, jokes on you. And then after that period, let out, we went to lunch because I had a bit in lunch. So, yeah. Anyway, so I went to lunch. And I thought it was just going to be like a normal, casual day. And then I brought out my phone. And the kid told me that my phone was covered in lunch um, with yogurt. And so I'm like, haha, that's Mr. Phone Guy. He always does that to me. Because I don't fling my lunchbox everywhere. And the only person that's close to my lunchbox is by Mr. Phone Guy. Because I put it under his feet. Because, you know, I'm smart. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so... I took out my lunch and my phone, I turned it on, and all I could see is these red lines, and I'm like, oh no, this is not good, and then, um, it was like, it was turning on, I got to the passcode, and I put it, I tried putting in my passcode, and I'm like, it's not working, what is happening, and so, I was like, <laughs> freaking out, I was having a panic attack, and I'm like, oh, oh, I'm gonna call my dad, because I'm not trying to get the belt today, <laughs> and so I used my friend, um, friend's phone, and I called him, and I was like, yo, my phone broke, this is not good, and my dad's like, what happened, and I'm like, what is the blessed, uh, whatever, and then I'm like, uh oh, okay, so if you have noticed that the ankle and the all just changed because I'm using my dad's phone now. But anyways, I have no clue where I left off. So let's just talk about what happened after I discovered the thing. That's probably where I left off. But shh, quiet.
anyways, so I went to, so after I discovered the phone, after my dad told me, kind of forced me to go to the office, um, I went up to the office with my friend, and she, or Lizzie Cookie, you could say, that's what I always refer to her to, because that's what she likes to be called. Anyways, so I went up to the office, I filled out a report thingy, like three times, to be honest with you, to the hunter, two other weeks or something like that, I don't know. Anyways, so, so I went up to the office, I filled out a report, nothing really happened, and then on Friday, nothing happened, and then I think on Wednesday, I believe, um, no, actually on Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, I went to the office again because I thought it was the phone kid that probably broke my phone and not the and Mr. N. Okay, and so I went all the way back up to the office. I refilled a um, report thingy. So that was like, <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. And then like on Wednesday, the period teacher got a phone call from the office. I had to go all the way to the dean's office. I had to talk to a police officer about this because oh, well, we have police officers on our campus, so yummy. Anyways, so we went. So I went to the dean's office. We talked about what had happened, and after school, well, actually, after I talked to the police officer, um, I went back, and my seventh uh, period teacher was like, "What happened? Was it about your phone?" And I'm like, well, yeah, but this kid broke in. She's like, oh, it's okay. Let's go back to work. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm like, oh, woo, I didn't get in trouble. <laughs> Have jokes on you. <laughs> Anyways, so I went to the car and stuff. And my dad's like, yo, we got a phone call from the school about your phone. And same with um, Ann's parents. And then I forgot that I have his phone number, and I'm like, who? Well, let's talk about some stuff. Mm. And so we talked about what had happened, and he was like, well, my parents are going to get you a new phone, and we're going to get you a new phone. We're going to get you a new phone. <laughs> no, I never got a new phone. <sighs> Alrighty then, so he practically lied to my face, and then I'm like, oh, wow, thank you so much. And then on Friday, I showed everybody what had happened. I'm like, ooh, I don't really care anymore. I seriously don't care anymore. Anyways, so I showed everybody. I showed my friend. And here's a clip of him calling the cop. By the way, I was sick. Okay, so we got our nice, beautiful phone right here. And I'm like, like, I mean, it's already been like two months, so like, I, there's nothing. And also, the good thing was is that on the announcements, they were talking about if someone broke your phone or something, you can charge them. And I'm like, charge them? I get money? And I'm like, Whoa! I'm going to do it. And so, the two girls that I was in the group with, we all went to the office after that period. That was the fourth period. And I'm like, woohoo, let's go to the office. And so we went to the office. We told, well, we found our security guard. And um, we're like, so yeah, this kid 
um, broke this phone, and then he was like, well, you can ask your parents to act like you're the victim, and I'm like, yeah, I am a victim of my phone being broken, and I'm like, yeah, so I told my dad about it, he's like, well, just make sure you get your phone like he promised, or we will press charges, and so I tried telling Mr. N about that, and then he's like, I don't care. And I'm like, what? Anyways, so I was like, oh no. And um, I told um, Mr. Phone Guy about it. And he's like, well, what we can do is we can do this and this and this. So he, practically what he was trying to do is get his way out of it and make him do all the work. And then the next day, he's like, I'm so sorry. Like, when I was telling him about pressing charges, he was like about to cry. I saw it in his face. And I'm like, <laughs> that's such a great ruler. I love making people cry. That's what I do best. <laughs> Anyways, so I was like, okay, well, let's try doing something. And so Mr. Palmer and I was like, wait a minute. What if I get you this up because he doesn't want to do And then <laughs> we were like, well, let's do that. You... So, Mr. N can buy me a new phone, and he can buy me all the accessories. And I'm like, whoa. And then, like, a month later, my dad tried um, turning my phone to see what we could do. And the guy that worked at the Walmart place was like, well, we can, like, do this and this and this. I'm like, whoa. And so my stepmom, also at the time, her phone was, like, being with baggy boy and we she went to walmart to get her a new battery that wasn't the right phone because she has a samsung and galaxy i don't know some weird phone and apparently that company that works at walmart isn't connected with samsung and so they gave her the wrong battery the battery was about to explode because you know batteries explode you know that's normal and so it's like bro i don't know what to do and so we went to this other place and they're like well we can't help you because this and that and this and that that yada yada whatever and so i'm like oh why am i here i want to go home and then i'm like wait a minute if they gave my stepmom the wrong battery their stuff is cheap it's one more one more cheap Walmart's crappy. Why the, I, it all connected. They gave me a cheap screen that was really worthless that could break very easily, and I'm like, <laughs> bruh. And also, when I first got the phone, there was this like white dot. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's like don't don't mind the little purple dots. It's like right there. And, um, so I'm like, oh, whoa, what is this? When I first got it, I'm like, yummy. And so I'm like, so one more fault. Not my fault. So that's the time where I broke my phone. Well, I didn't. Someone else broke it because I love blaming people. But anyways, um, all I'm saying is that don't go to Walmart. And get your stuff repaired. Don't ever go to Walmart. If you have a Walmart that has a phone repair system thingy, I don't know. Don't go there ever in your lifetime. Or you're going to get screwed and you're never going to get a phone. The thing is, is that when my mom gets paid, I'm going to get my phone fixed at this Apple repair store that's actually Apple. So that's scrumptious, delicious, healthy for me. I'm like, Mwah! And so this is great. And, you know, maybe if Mr. Phone Guy lets me, I can make some story times about him. Because he, well, let's just, mm, let's just say is that he doesn't really know anything about copyright or music, but he says he does. And if you're watching it, I'm so sorry. But, you know, thanks for being a nice friend to me. And this is what I legit do. So if I come to school tomorrow, he's like, not tomorrow, but on Monday, he's like, oh my God, why you do this? <laughs> I know a lot. It's just, sweetie, I'm sorry, but half of the songs that you listen to is copyrighted. And I don't know who the copyright person is. I, 
I don't even know a bunch of how to, just I know how it works because you know I watch a lot of YouTube and I watch a lot of educated videos. I know that the song that we're listening to, the beat, the beat, the beat, I can't think. So the thing about the copyright claim, I'm just going to educate you right here right now, go crazy son. So um, the thing, the song that we're listening to in the band room, people, we were listening to a Madonna song, I think, and it, and they were making music. I'm not playing this because I don't want to. But anyways, they were trying to make a song on GarageBand. Anyways, so they were making a song, and the beat sounded similar to the Madonna song. And I'm like, you know, if you guys are gonna publish this, this is not gonna get you money. This is not gonna get popular. It's gonna get taken down. If someone shows this to Madonna, or if Madonna finds out that she can take it down because it's the beat. That's how copyright goes, and that's how it works. But he was like, no, this song doesn't have a copyright claim. And then I like, looked it up, and then he was like, yeah, I already did. He looked it up, he couldn't find it. But every song that you listen to, Mr. Phone Guy, Mr. I have 17,000 17, phones, I don't know. He's practically rich, so like, haha, great for you. So that's delicious, scrumptious. Mwah, for you. But anyways, yeah, if you guys do make music, just try not to copy off for people because that's not going to get you anywhere and that's just going to be doing a lot of trouble. So yeah, life lesson for me. Um, and you, oh, sorry. And um, eat my booty punch up. <laughs> but yeah, sorry if it's like very echoey because I'm in this empty bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, also I might go out to LA pretty soon. When? After summer. So, yeah, I might make some vlogs there. But I better get a new phone. Anyways, bye! <laughs>